Welcome to this short Medchemica MC Pairs training video. This video follows those that have described how much molecular pair analysis works and have introduced MC Pairs and the Rule Design Engine. We'll assume here that you have previously seen the Rule Design video on goal selection. In this video, we're going to describe the other options available under the Goal Direction menu. What are they and how do they affect the output? We previously described the goal directions of increase and decrease, and you may have noticed the other options. Let's start at the top. The All Rules setting, as the name implies, applies all of the rules in the database to the query molecule. This is all of the increase and decrease rules, but not the NED transformations, as these are not classed as rules. Currently, the rules come from the analysis of all 9000 endpoints in our server. As a result, using the All Rules option will produce a large output typically 5 to 8,000 suggestions. The run times can be much longer, typically 3 to 4 minutes. So, when using this setting, use filters to reduce the volume of the output and perhaps focus with a substructure lock. With these in place, the output should be reduced to 1 to 2,000. Also, the specificity filter can be used to focus down the rules to the highest level of environment. If you recall, we capture the chemical change and the chemical environment out to a 4 atom radius. So 4 atom rules are the most specific and likely to be higher quality. The application of 3 to 4 is a good setting. Have an experiment and see what effect it has. Even so, a useful workflow using all rules is to run without any filters, export all of the results as a text or CSV file, and use these compounds in further calculations or if your project is structure enabled, to dock into your binding pocket. Poly fitted compounds can be easily triaged. It is recommended that you don't export an Excel file from an all rules run, since this file will likely be too large to render, causing memory issues, resulting in an error. Instead, please export a tab separated or comma separated file. The next option in the menu is hit to lead. We've analysed the match pairs on the database and we find rules when we have six or more pairs for a given chemical transformation. However, there are transformations with very high numbers of match pairs, like several hundreds of pairs. These transformations are the most common transformations that medicinal chemists perform. Looking at these as a group, we find they are, in general, the types of changes undertaken in the hit to lead phase of the projects. We have room fenced this group of transformations and they can be applied to your query molecule. Typically, you'll get 50 to 80 compounds. It's very useful for enumerating a first set of compounds to make from a confirmed hit. You should note here that we add this set of compounds to every run with MC pairs, so users can see the most frequent changes as well as those found by the selected goal. This is configurable and can be turned off for enterprise users. The next section is min pair rules. As described, the match pair analysis is based on six or more pairs for a given transformation. We can relax this setting and apply transformations that are presented by a fixed number of pairs or more. If we go down to min three pair trans, this will cause the application of all transformations where there are three or more match pairs for the given goal. To be clear, this will include three, four, five, six and higher counts of pairs and this will be irrespective of the direction, resulting in positive or negative effects. So if we choose min 6 pair trans, this will be all the increase, decrease, neutral and NED rules on the database. As before, we recommend using filters to reduce the output to chemical changes close to your starting point. For example, set a relative molecular mass of 50 Daltons higher than your input. This yields output very close to your starting point. For many endpoints, there's a paucity of measurements, meaning few transformations pass the statistical significance to become a rule. For example, the absorption or efflux assays, CACO2 and MDCK. Using the min pair rules options allows the user to see more transformations. This setting is also worth setting when using the potency assays. Overall, we will be generating a set of suggestions with higher diversity, giving lots and lots of options. If we want highly novel ideas or a project has already exhausted a lot of ideas, this setting can be used to widen out the scope. Perhaps if these options don't look desirable, then stopping working on this series might be a good idea. The last group of settings are more specific. Setting three pairs trans only, we only apply transformations with exactly three pairs, rejecting those with less than or more than three pairs. 
Effectively, we can break down output into separate runs. These go up to 30 pairs. That concludes this short training video on the advanced goal direction settings in rule design. We hope you found this useful. For further support, please contact support at medchemica.com.